Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we are returning to episode number two of a new-ish game, it's a little over a month old I believe now, uh, called, maybe a little older than that, called War Hospital. We took a very quick look at this game when it first came out, and basically the premise of this game is it is MASH the game. Uh, you're running a hospital for wounded soldiers, kind of a frontline hospital for wounded soldiers in World War I. Your goal is to save as many of them as you can and then return them to the front line effectively. It has a kind of a weird mechanic we haven't fully explored yet uh, for like fighting. Um, I'm trying to think here. There's like the trenches here. So we've sent back six or maybe it's one, two, three, four, five. Maybe it's five. Um, or maybe more. No, we definitely haven't sent this many troops back, but we've sent a few troops back to the front lines, uh, which are supposed to be close to the hospital. Um, but we've sent we've sent some troops back to the front lines. And basically the goal of this game is rehab rehabilitate soldiers, send some back, you know, to the front, send some to headquarters as kind of orderlies in the back lines, and then maybe send some home entirely. Uh, the, the decision that you make around that influence things like the overall morale of the hospital and the camp, the ability to prevent your troops from being overrun, uh, and other things like that. So essentially, if you don't send enough troops back to the front line and your boys get overrun, then what ends up happening is you lose because the hospital gets overrun. We do have to hold a number of enemy attacks over the next 14 days in order to, I guess, survive and not have a game, game over. Um, what's this? Patience denied operation. Yeah, we've given two. That red exclamation is new. Is that because this guy's going to die? It says this guy will not live long enough to be operated on. Um, but effectively, your goal is to save as many folks as possible without losing either through your morale falling so low that the hospital's folks basically kind of I don't know, get, get sad, big sad, or, uh, to, you know, sur survive the war and not get overrun or whatever. In any event, um, we have two doctors in our hospital right now. We have, what is it? Five, six patients, potential patients. You can see they're lined up here. Uh, you can see the sort of operation difficulty is different for each case. Uh, you've got sort of a failure chance and operation difficulty chance, the more difficult the operation, the more taxing it is on your surgeon. Uh, our current surgeon is well rested, uh, but we do have another surgeon who is resting for the next six hours. So we'll see. Um, you know, we got to get the other guy back into uh, into into the hospital so that we can operate on these folks. Um, but you can see here that uh, that's kind of the situation right now. Uh, you do also have to bury bodies when people die. We've had two people die, and we've saved six people's lives so far. In 13 days, we have to survive 13 days until 5 a.m. on June 21st, 1918 uh, for our, our, yeah, our headquarters. I think this game is actually like a story based game. So I do think like you can beat this mission. It's not just survive as long as possible. You end up in another another mission. I think it is. We also have orders to build an x-ray improvement. We should work on improving the healing process. We'll be able to help more wounded that way. Uh, is that in the rehabilitation center? You can see there's like a tech tree and things like that. Where is the x-ray station? X-ray? It's under the surgery ward. So we have the surgery ward, I think, right? Yeah, so we need to build this. It'll cost us four hours of time. Three sort of paper things, which is like a, a resource you expend. And 70 labor. We can do that. Um, One of the guys is making... One of the guys is resting. The other guy is making bandages on our pharmacy. So let's go ahead and send this guy and start the work. Because you do ex you do consume things like surgical supplies, freight, trauma medicine, 
chemical medicine supplies. You've got food rations, alcohol rations, military drafts, and staff points. Frankly, perhaps we should... I feel like that's not a ton of bandages. I know we are making some, but if we're going to start doing some improvements that use up our engineers. Let's see here. What does it cost? It costs... Is this... Yeah, it costs two. Eh, let's just hold off for now. There's trains coming pretty frequently. Okay, so they're carrying one guy to the, the hospital. Let's go ahead and just start yeah, things back up. Why am I getting an exclamation point here? I didn't mean to send the doctor right back to the operating ward. I thought I was just scheduling it for when his rest period was done. There's no nurse assigned to the CSS? I thought I had nurses assigned to the CSS. Operating ward and rehabilitation center. Is she doing anything? No one's at the rehabilitation center. So you go to the... I need to... I need to order more... Uh, more nurses. Is there a way to get more nurses? Recruit more? I know there is. I just don't remember how. Uh, maybe I do that at the train. Yeah, I know the rehabilitation isn't center isn't working. Yeah, order another. Order a nurse. I've got the resources to do it. Give me a third one. Because as soon as these guys may get out of surgery, there's going to be no one in the rehabilitation center to look after them. So then I'll have to pull a nurse from the casualty clearing center when this operation completes. Okay. Hopefully no one dies. Is the operations going on up here? It'd be interesting if you got more updates about how the surgeries are going. I kind of feel like this is a really novel concept for a game, but I... But I do worry that the game will get very repetitive. Like, I don't know how much it throws new and interesting hooks into the mechanics. And I think once you kind of get used to it, it'll probably get get somewhat uh, dull. John Humphrey, just till the shift ends. Alright, so those are the medic teams that carry people around on stretchers. I don't know what you do with scouts. We haven't been... I think there's like a scouting center down here. I don't know what that's for. It can be sent on missions, but I'm not sure to what end. Uh, maybe it causes more wounded soldiers to be sent back to you. Maybe they discover folks. What's up here? Is this till more people arrive? A minute, 40 seconds, maybe? The tooltips could be better. This is answer with James. Or maybe that's when the x-ray will be complete. Frankly, I could use a third doctor too. I need the ability to rest while dealing with all these wounded soldiers.
What's gonna happen? Is it a success or a failure? So we lost this patient. Aww. Slight decrease to morale. Darn. Alright, well we gotta send someone to the, uh... Let's pause this. So we lost one of our patients. Patient died, assigned medic, team to cemetery. Okay. Are you operating on the next one, or are you going to rest? I'm not sure. These guys are in good shape. This guy is in serious shape. Let's see how the... Uh, we also do have... Uh, we have some patients. We've got two people. One guy's dead. Like, he's terminal. He's not going to get better. The other guy's in critical care who we've declined service to because we don't... Frankly, we don't have the resources to deal with everybody. All right, go ahead and go to the cemetery now. You guys were given a little bit of a rest. Actually, maybe I should pull the medic teams assigned to the, ca yeah, the casualty clearing station. Well, no, we're getting more patients coming in. Jesus. How many more patients do we have? Uh, assignment, by the way, is, so one out of two, is the doctor, is the doctor resting? This guy's well rested, this guy's exhausted, and they're both operating, okay. We got another one who's in serious shape. He won't survive if we put him there. All right. These are level three, though. So this is interesting. I think the the are the chevrons indicate difficulty, or does it indicate failure chance operation difficulty? All right, we'll do it this way. Because if I do it this way, if I put the operation difficulty that's more difficult, he'll be exhausted by the end of it. If we give him one easy operation and then the difficult one before the rest, I think that's the better the better approach. Yep, didn't I just assign him? Oh, we got another one. Okay. Well, he may, he may die. We'll see. <laughs> I think you get less of a penalty against morale as well if you assign folks to um, extra improvement. Okay. The Kaluga's building the improvements. Remember to do it every now and then. Okay. Okay. So I believe if you have someone who is assigned to kind of we lost this patient. another patient died in uh, the operations. Oh. He's resting for the next eight hours, which is probably when the other guy's going to need a break. What's the point of operating on folks if you're just going to all die? Ruthless for four dead, six saved. Four people have died, one is waiting for burial, two have been buried, so we still need to bury the other two then, right? I'm assuming they'll bury. Where are they going? They're, they're going back there. Do I have to do anything in the x-ray station? Well, there's nobody to rehabilitate, by the way, because nobody's being, you know, being saved. How is this team doing? How's this guy? So we're making the surgical supplies. Slowly. Can I see how tired he is? Would prefer not to work in the pharmacy. Well, that's good for you, but I need, I need you to work in the pharmacy, so you can go there. And the other guy can get a break. I know you both yeah, would prefer not to work in the pharmacy. Alright. So we are still anticipating surviving the upcoming attack based on the initial group of soldiers that we sent back. Sir, may I have a word with you? Sure. <sighs> Certainly. Tell What's on your mind? 
I was approached today by one of the Shrelian that stayed in the city. He was a stone man mason here. He was a stone mason here. Okay. According to his words, he customarily made a tombstone for each person buried in the cemetery. But with cemetery requisitioned by the military and so many deceased, he will not be able to because of the sheer amount of work. Okay. Well, that is certainly sad. But I don't see anything we could do to help him. Well, I think I have a kind of solution to this problem, sir. There is a significantly seized rock in the cemetery. We could use it to make a sort of memorial stone and carve there the name of each person died or that will die in the future. Mr. Theo Blank volunteered to prepare the stone and carve the name each time the person okay. dies. All that is needed, sir, is your permission. I don't see a reason not to. Craven, a local stonemason, Theo Blanc, wants to use the rock in the cemetery to create a memorial stone for all the deceased. Is there a downside to saying yes? Like, sure, go for it. I don't care. Three are waiting for burial. Five deceased. Well, they're burying now, so. Sir, we lost this patient. Another one died in the operation? Are my doctors just butchers? You guys going to do anything? Wasn't that supposed to be the easy operation? Uh, did my new medic arrive yet? I don't know that it's been four hours. I guess it doesn't matter that I have no one in the rehabilitation center. Two patients died after being denied admission. Yes. Okay, so everybody in the denied section is dead. This guy's resting for five more hours. He's still rested because Lord knows he's not doing anything when he operates on anybody. We're now up to seven deaths, only six saved. Maybe my doctors are intentionally putting people out of their misery and just letting them die. Train's coming in 10 minutes. Is, do we have a, a nurse on that train? I'm assuming my nurses need to start getting breaks. I've got ju I'll have just enough nurses to operate every facility, but... Is this one the nurses coming? Or do we have... Ah, we got our third nurse. Okay, so... We're gonna put a second nurse in the operating ward. ward. Ruby Greenhouse. House. Would prefer not to work in would prefer to work in the casualty clearing station. Go ahead and rest. Sir, nurses are on the way. We'll pull one nurse out of the operating ward, the other nurse can replace them. Maybe that'll help our operations a bit. It's a twenty four seven operation here. We got bodies to bury. Is that operation pause until the nurse shows up? Maybe not. Okay. Where are the burials going? Four waiting for burial. Seven deceased. Two buried. Are you still... It takes you a good long while to bury folks. Is it because you're too busy carrying new bodies to the cemetery that you can't... I think that's it. They probably keep getting called to bring dead bodies back. And... As a result, they don't have any time to actually do the burials. So they're doing the burials now. They've got five waiting for burial. So three have been buried. Gotcha. Did we ever get that stone thing? Buried, buried, buried. Okay. You will not be forgotten. You will be engraved in a stone somewhere. Good luck. Please have at least one person survive this, this current operation. Please survive. That's all I'm asking. We're inching toward the first attack. It's 
Sounds like someone's getting eaten by dogs. I keep hearing dogs barking and someone's screaming. Also, will it stop raining just for a little bit? Operating. Two more hours till our second surgeon is done operating and so we'll have another or more more people coming in get the bodies why is it giving me the exclamation it is being run is it are people like dead for too long yeah. new patient arrived. two new patients great Two new patients. One is good, the other is stable. What's the difference? Okay. Well, I'm going to wait till my other doctor is done resting, so it's going to be an hour and a half. How's this operation going? You'll either be dead or not, and you'll open up another slot in my... Uh, in my operating schedule. Maybe I should just move the easy operations to the front of the list so we can churn through more people more quickly. Maybe. I don't I don't know if that's the right approach. Maybe it, it kind of feels like it could be. Does this mean that the workers are tired, maybe? They need a break? Sir, we lost oh my god! Everybody's just dying. What's the fucking point? Uh, go rest. Close to collapsing. Okay. He's tired. He's almost fully rested. 47 more minutes. Should we actually, let's just do this. Everybody's dying. Just move you up front. I know your operation is serious and all that, but it's a two hour operation. It's less difficult. I need a win. I need a fucking win. Sir, I am happy to report that Mr. Blank finished the memorial stone. It is ready now. If you would like to examine it, it awaits at the cemetery. Okay. In memorum. Yeah, I'm just gonna fill that wall up real quick. At this rate. All right, you are well, well rested. So, let's get these guys operating, shall we? Open with an easy one. Then do the serious one. Or no, let's do this. I gotta win. I gotta get some wins. You're, sorry buddy, you're, you're not gonna make it. Hate to break it to you, but you're being denied coverage. Your insurance has bounced. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, are the doctors going to rest after the current operation? And our new doctor is just, just back. Do I need to make any changes to the nurses? So these guys are resting for another hour and a half. This nurse is resting for three. I don't know if I need, do I need two nurses to operate when we've got two doctors operating? I guess we'll find out. It doesn't appear here so operation chance plus 20 percent complication chances negative 26 simplification chances plus 26 it doesn't feel like we should be running this huge string of of losses as far as i can tell but it is what it is i guess 
come to hospital t hospital butcher and prepare to die. How are supplies doing? We've got 23 medical supply surgical supplies. I think that's enough for now. We're not really consuming the other supplies. Who is John Humphrey? You're one of the casualty clearing station medic teams. All right, go rest for 30 minutes. Sir, medics are on the way. Sir, operation was successful. Yay! Go to the rehabilitation center. Sir, Take care of them. Yay, we had a successful operation. Hell yeah. Someone didn't die. Now they're off to the rehabilitation center where we will send them to the front or yeah, do something. The rehab. There's no more space for freight in the warehouse. Sir, medics reached the casualty clearing station. Base resources for construction and production. Okay, I guess I should construct something then. Unlocked further in the story. Okay, so what else can I do? We've done the x-rays. Okay. Shift system. Unlocks a shift system. Allows units to be assigned to different shifts to work on given hours. That feels like that could be useful. Oh, we can just start cutting off arms. Um... I feel like engineers are a bottleneck. Let's do that. Sir, operation was successful. Yay! Another patient saved. Who would have known? Just do the easy stuff. He's resting for the next two hours. He's being operated on right now. Okay. Is anybody rehabilitated yet? Six hours. Okay. Maybe we'll actually get through this list of patients here. We could consider pulling back in. No, he's terminal. Does that mean we can't save him? Yeah, he's dead. Sorry. I know I denied service to you, but I still feel bad. All right, another two minutes until the next patients arrive. We're going to need more time for those nurses. I need more nurses, really. That's kind of... I'd say that's a big thing, is we need... We need more nurses. Can we improve the uh, canteen, too? Like, is that something... Unlocks nutritious ration option. Increases morale over time. Increases food production. Decreased production cost and resources. I don't care about that. Increases production speed. Yes, I need that for the pharmacy. Let's do that. Um, well, we'll do that once you finish the scouts or whatever the other thing is you're working on right now. What's this? Operation emergency. What do I do with that? What does that mean? Oh, oh boy. Sir, the procedure caused heavy contamination of the operating table. I would like to request additional sterilization after the procedure. Uh, increased. 
Morale falls? Sure. Go for it. I got the resources right. We're down to 16, so maybe not, but... Uh-huh. One new patient? Two new patients? Okay. Operating difficulty of one and two. Um, this guy's going to need a rest soon too, so we'll see. We may move those assignments around a bit. Probably have to move some nurses around, too. The uh, rehabilitation folks. You guys done yet? Not quite. Meanwhile, new nurses. So can we hire more personnel? I need at least one more nurse, I would say. Nurses seem to be a, an issue because they're so central to, like, everything you're doing, kind of. All right, so those guys are done bearing folks. So let's pause for a second. Let's get the assignments going here. Let's move these guys from the cemetery out to rest. Medics are available. Yeah, like I've got, I've got an extra medic group, stretcher group. Nobody's in the cemetery, but nobody's waiting for burial. So that's fine. Nurses, I would like more nurses at the operating room. I think that would do a good job of getting us better results. I'm just assuming. And then the other piece is the ability to rest one set of nurses. Because right now we've got every nurse working and eventually they're going to need a break. I assume you shouldn't leave the casualty clearing station without a nurse to tend to the folks waiting for operations. You can't operate without a nurse. Yay, we saved another one. The guy who was waiting for operation, by the way, did die. But he's not waiting for burial. Right. Who did I just move in? I think Connor. No. Just shuffling my engineers to make sure they get some breathers here. Alright, so another successful operation means the rehabilitation center is going to start getting crowded. We got two folks in here now. We'll have three in a second, although two of them will be clearing soon. And you'll be operating on this guy soon. Oh, you're well rested. So we've got, you got the other doctor coming back too. Nice. Well, if we can get ahead of these casualties, because we don't have another order of uh, soldiers coming in yet, then maybe we can actually make some progress on giving our doctor some rest where they're not letting folks die. Oh, crap. We're low on surgical supplies. Are we doing used, owned? We're really low on pharmacy on bandages. I don't know at what point. I I'm hoping when it said used in that list, that is the number of like already pulled out of out of supply for the current operation. If we need to pull that other doctor back, we can, or that other engineer back, we can, although I'd again I'd like to try and give him a break. It'll speed up the process if we assign a second one. But I think by the looks of it, the ongoing operations aren't consuming more, so they probably pulled everything out of supply that they needed for the current operation. And then the next one won't start until you have sufficient 
bandages for that next operation, I'm assuming. Uh, okay. Awaiting a decision. Go inside. All right, so. Are there three waiting, really? Oh, they're not all released yet. All right, so waiting for decision. Your combat power is not very good. He's only a one chevron. Or maybe that's... So he's plus one for the paperwork if we send him to HQ. Combat power is one chevron. So former plumber, father owns a large firm. He still can't get used to the cramped conditions of the trenches. None of these guys are very good soldier. I guess this guy's the best. So we'll send this guy to the trenches. Uh, we'll send this guy to HQ. We'll send this guy home. Just based on sort of the efficiency and the quality of the soldiers. I think that's the right approach. Yeah. Patient is cured. Patient is cured. Great. We'll send him to the front. Incoming attack is going to happen very soon. All right. So do we have enough bandages for the next operation? Yeah. Operation was successful. Okay. So that operation was successful. Let's go inside the CSS. Stable and good. Both these operations look easy-ish. This one's more... Well, I'm not sure. Okay. This is actually more difficult, the current one. It's confusing between the Chevron... I, I guess that's not actually the difficulty. That's the caliber of the person the, the difficulty is the little lightning bolt so we need 11 for the operate is that how it works yeah used alone okay so we should have enough bandages for the next operation I'm assuming that's why it shifted over to no longer being red Should have another person headed to rehabilitation here in a minute. No one's no one's waiting for no one's dead. Let's switch up the medic teams here. Casualty clearing. Put you there. Nurses. I'm guessing the casualty clearing nurse needs a break. We'll do the operation nurse next. like to work in the shift system, huh? Okay. Medics are on the way. We'll move those folks around a bit since she wants to work in the casualty clearing station. We'll let her work in the casualty clearing station. What's this? Trauma medicine supply shortage at the HQ. HQ's requested to send them trauma medicine supply if possible. They're experiencing shipment delays. If we do, they'll repay us in staff permits. I'm not even using trauma medicine right now, so yeah, I'll do that. Sir, nurses reached the casualty clearing station. Also, let's assign this engineer to the pharmacy. I never ended up building that better canteen, but I need to get a head on medicine, su surgical supplies. So let's do that. Sir, engineers reached the pharmacy. So you can see it goes much quicker when you've got two engineers working on the pharmacy supplies. These supplies are getting cranked out much more quickly. Should get a fourth before the next operation.
crank those supplies up boys go 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 i'm waiting for that attack it hasn't come quite yet Good job, another successful operation. So we had that big string of everybody dying, but since then we've got a nice little string of most folks surviving, I think. Does that get that other guy break? Yeah, he's resting for the next four hours, so. The other medic does have two, or the other doctor does have two patients in his queue, but I think the second one can wait. And I'd like to have a fully rested doctor in the event that some patients come in what's going on at the casualty clearing station someone's tired and needs a break right the nurse is exhausted this nurse is available so we'll move the exhausted one out for a break I mean I guess you can just wait till your your folks are exhausted too that is an option okay. oh look we got more patients coming in so probably a good thing that we're arresting that other doctor he's an hour into his break how many? Two? Yep, two more. Stable and good. These are not difficult op- this one's not a difficult operation in any event. This one is. We'll let the other doctor rest. It doesn't look like anybody's about to die. Oh no, do we have another? Ambulance coming in. More? Oh no. We're under, We're under attack! The Germans are attacking the trenches! <laughs> and now you get this goofy little cutscene. Okay. Sir, we have wounded soldier. We have a wounded soldier? Where? I don't, I don't understand. Is he coming back to the casualty clearing station? Anyway, so it looks like we withstood the first attack. Current strength of defenses in the trenches is strong. So I think we should hold at least for the next attack. Rehabilitation center, we got two more patients who are currently being worked on who are going to be released for duty. You've got good combat power, so we will send you to the trenches and we will send you to the HQ. I guess one of our soldiers on the front was probably wounded, so... A two Chevron soldier going to the front should help. In however many hours that'll be. Can we continue our streak of successful operations? Is this one's about to come to a close? Damn it, no, we can't. All right, whoops, wrong button. All right, you guys both are on brakes. So we're at about a 50-50 situation right now. How's the CSS? He's almost done resting, so we were about to bring in the... Doctor, the doctor is starting a new shift. Doctor's starting a new shift, good for you. All right, you're operating on him, so you guys, let's do the simple operation first, the more complex one later. Meanwhile, we'll let you, the tired doctor, take a break after the current operation. What's this? Uh oh. Casualty clearing station, you're tired, but we got the new doctor coming in. Yeah, so I can see how this would, this would get a little bit annoying, so again, if you do the shift upgrade then you can actually assign folks based on sort of you know nine to five type shifts That's operation good. emergency sir it seems the bolt flew right through leaving a clean exit wound there's only burns around the wound that suggests there was some form of self-inflicted emergency treatment done by the patient right after the hit which in turn prevented infection Okay, so that means a less difficult surgery, I suppose. All right. Sir, 
reach the casualty clearing station. Uh, how are we doing here? We got two operations ongoing, three patients total. We've got enough. Looks like we've got enough bandages for the current current set of patients we have. I didn't really understand we've got the wounded soldier thing. I don't I don't think I can do anything about that. I don't know if I need to go to the front and do anything about that. What's this? Four, two. Like, what does this mean? These numbers mean nothing to me. Yay, patient is cured. Okay, well, good, good for you, sir. Go get, go get to the. Uh, so slippery. I hate that. Sir, patient is cured. Yay, two successful operations, I think. Sir, operation was successful. Oh no, those are patient is cured means they're rehabilitated. Okay. But the last operation was a success, so good job, boys. Does morale go up with successful operations? Morale goes up when you send soldiers home after being healed. I can't tell if it goes up when you successfully operate on someone. Sir, operation was successful. Okay. So only one patient left. Oh, never mind. Well, this other doctor's resting. Looks like we've got more patients coming in. At least two more, probably. Where are our casualty? Okay, they're coming back. It's like, where are they at? These guys are just sitting in the ambulance. Anybody need burying? No? Okay. I'm guessing this attack is stronger than we can withstand, like 12 days out. That's the final attack as well, based on the timing thing here. All right, yeah, so it looks like two more patients. We're up to 13 patients saved. Uh, yeah, that's a simple operation. We'll do you first. more patients no i always think i get confused because the ambulance does like it circles around the facility all right so in six hours we got this guy coming back is this why does this have two i don't f understand is the filled in chevron indicating that he isn't good at combat because there's two of them I'm not clear on that. But it looks like by adding him there, they think we will withstand the upcoming attack. So good news there. And that should get us to the end of this particular... At least objective over here. I don't know if there will be more HQ orders after that or if it'll just end the battle. Or end the, end the mission. We could be doing more upgrades and stuff like that, but right now I need my engineers focused on making pharmacy stuff for me so I can get back ahead on the uh, bandages. Maybe we'll let the other doctor rest a little bit sooner. Chrissy, you need a break. Not doing anything in your current jobs, but... Nurses. Operating ward, you need a break probably. You haven't had one in quite a while. Sir, medics are on the way. Sir, I think someone's waiting for burial somewhere. Someone died. We haven't buried 11 people, so... Sir. Medics reached the cemetery. 
No, another one died. So our dudes need a break in the surgical supply center. Looks like we've got a warning that one of them is about to pass out, which we haven't we haven't moved anyone around in a little while. It looks like we have sufficient supplies right now. So let's go ahead and send the one guy for a break. Yeah, was on the way. Wait, we're losing him. Who are you losing? Hey. Sir, the patient has severe burns, but it seems his body already started to heal on its own. There's signs of visible living tissue. His chances of survival are much higher now. Thank God. Do I have anybody I need to assign? We do have one person pending release in five hours. Ooh, you got three combat power, I think. I don't really understand the filled-in chevron versus the, the unfilled-in part, but you're going to the trenches, sir. Just to give us a little bit of a buffer on whether we will successfully hold out. Another operation emergency? Okay. So good news on both those operations then. That'll actually clear the casualty clearing station out entirely once they're done with the operations. Now I'm assuming we'll get another supply of wounded before then yep here you go two more coming in sir new patient arrives you're gonna do that let's see where this goes it always fools me all right gonna go around here turn around this way slingshot sir, its way on out Um, Maxwell needs a break. I like switching the nurses out and around before before it becomes an issue. Right, the other guy's gonna, you can work for another hour. You're exhausted, but you can work for one more hour and then I'll move the other engineer to the pharmacy. I don't know why they're called engineers. You guys are just making bandages for me. I know you build the occasional building, but. All right, so one successful, good. So two more successful operations. So that should clear those two out and then the other doctor's going to rest for the next three hours. He wasn't totally exhausted, so his rest time is a little bit shorter. So by putting both the engineers in the pharmacy for a while, it looks like we got to an okay spot bandage-wise. Also, some of these later operations have been less complicated, I think. So it's been, it's been helping things go a little bit more easy on the resource side of things um you're a three chevron but you're also three worth three if we send it hq and three morale geez you're a you're a nice valuable resource there both of you are i'll take the morale we're down to 53 we could use a little bit of a, a little bit of a pick me up have they buried everybody at the cemetery yet why does it say 12 deceased and 10 buried where are the other two did they die? The Maybe they died on the front lines? Like during the battle? I'm not sure. That's strange. Uh, 
All right. We keep getting operation emergencies, but they're good things. So schedule only a normal recovery or schedule a longer recovery. It increases the re recovery time by almost nine, almost 10 hours. It increases morale, reduces complexity. Sure. Oh, there's more than one attack. It looks like there's back to back attacks up here up near the uh, 21st. I guess it's a good thing I uh, sent extra soldiers back to the front. Also, I'm glad I got that free morale by giving the guy the longer recovery. Go for it, dude. But because we sent the, we're sent we sending those two soldiers to the front, we should be okay on both these attacks. I'd like to do the canteen repair once my... Uh, Engineer is done resting. Oh, it says he's awaiting tasks. So let's go to the improvements screen. What were we going to do? Was it engineering rooms? Uh, let's do the staff. Staff amenities. Go do that. Go work on that. Anything that reduces rest time, I think, is... I mean, I could be wrong, but I am I am kind of assuming that the most important thing you can do from a... I'm kind of under the impression the most, most efficient thing you can do, and I could be wrong here, uh, is reduce rest times because then you need fewer and fewer workers and then you can, you know, churn through patients more quickly. Right? Like, if these doctors' rest times reduced by two hours, we'd probably have no patients right now awaiting operations. Another successful operation, although he's going to have the longer recovery time. Another set of patients coming in here in five minutes. What's this? Patient was strong in recent event. Yep, reduced. Good, good for you. Reduced rehabilitation time. I don't know why I'm making those decisions on the operating table, but... Fourteen hours? Jeez. I don't know if there's more attacks coming before the 21st, so if they're going to start chaining them together real close like this, it probably makes sense to have extra combat power, which is kind of what I'm doing. But with that being said, guys, we've been going for about an hour, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up here. This is War Hospital, um, a new-ish strategy game putting you in charge of a hospital. I'm curious what the later game looks like, if it gets more sort of involved right now. Because, you know, I think if we were to do that shift upgrade, then I don't know what I'd even be doing at this point. I'd just be kind of sitting and watching. Uh, but we'll see. Anyway, let me know if you want to see more of this on the channel. I can certainly do another episode if you guys are having a good time with it but uh that's gonna do it for today so until next time this is the historical gamer saying thank you for watching and until next time i'm out <laughs>